The future of smartphones is looking awesome. What's up guys? So what you're looking at right now could be the next big jump of smartphone technology after the foldable smartphones. For the first time, it feels like something that has the potential to be better than a foldable smartphone is right around the corner. This is Oppo X 2021 rollable smartphone with a scrollable design. At first, it looks like a normal smartphone with a 6.7 inch display. But as soon as you swipe and activate the sliding mechanism, the phone magically expand in your hand literally into a full-size tablet. It goes from a normal 6.7 inch smartphone size to a 7.4 inch tablet mode. This is what the Galaxy Fold 2 does as well but you can see the approach here is entirely different. I can see how this device can challenge the Galaxy Fold 2. I mean, it does the same thing. Without the need of folding the main display, there is no crease and it transforms into a tablet seamlessly. Like the whole process is smooth, but still kind of slow compared to the Fold 2. Like I can quickly turn my Fold into a tablet without any waiting. Also, this phone may look like it's not as complex as the folding phone, but trust me, it's actually more complex and the durability is more of a question with this kind of smartphone. So Oppo explained the magic here. They told us that the phone is actually rocking a roll motor inside that is responsible of rolling this OLED display. So every time you press on the side, the roll motor rolls the display out and it does the same thing in hiding the display. So understandably, it has a lot of moving parts inside. We have seen the pop-up camera smartphones. This could actually be like a pop-up display smartphone. That could be an easier definition of what's happening with this one-of-a-kind smartphone. Now this is a concept phone from Oppo right now and it can actually turn into a reality sometime in 2022. Now this reminds a lot about Samsung and their tons of patents regarding a rollable smartphone. They've already done something similar to their TV so it's not entirely impossible to do something like this in two or three years time. In fact Samsung is the only brand that actually turns these crazy concepts into reality as we have seen with the Galaxy fold. Samsung shows a lot of its ideas in their patents but never actually show its unfinished concepts on stage. Like the first time we saw the Galaxy Fold, this was actually almost a finished product like a couple of months later it was actually available for consumers to purchase so realistically i still think samsung can pull this off in about two three years time and it can actually replace the galaxy fold 2 what you need to know right now is that future of smartphones is transformative we have moved from traditional smartphone to a foldable smartphone era but soon enough we're gonna see scrollable or rollable oled display smartphones if you see the traditional smartphone design the pinnacle of that is the galaxy Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, like what more can you do beyond that? Samsung knows that they have hit a certain kind of level in terms of traditional smartphone design, so they have to innovate and keep moving forward. It's nice to see other brands showing off their crazy tech muscles as well. Oppo being a big brand and what they have shown off is truly incredible. Thanks to this tech, imagine 10 years down the line, your smartphone has the ability to transform into a full-size tablet and with a keyboard, it can completely replace a laptop. You could play console quality games on it, like the possibilities are endless. 10 years down the line, something like this could replace your smartphone, your tablet, and your laptop all in one device. Again, maybe 10 years down the road, but let me know what you think about this. I am super, super excited. For those who think that smartphones are getting boring, you're wrong because the new generation, a new era is coming pretty soon. Again, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for future tech videos. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.